Okay, here we are, Sheila from Boho Dreams, and I are going to do the big process of tea dyeing all our papers for this winter. So we will not have to worry about it. We got our trusty little helper, Ella Rue. And Pippa doesn't look like she wants to help us at all. So <laughs> we have <laughs> we have our tubs. Um, we have I think 25 little packets of tea and we have our stacks we're going to use our bath twice and then we will throw it out and start all over with a new bath because the water kind of what does it do it does it get a residue in it it does it gets a residue in it yeah it gets compromised with the chemicals that are on our paper and what we're gonna do we're gonna lay it out in our backyard over there and I hope um, that you'll get to see the whole process so, wish us luck. Bye. <laughs> so, here we are. We already gave our papers a bath. We use laser print paper that was 24 weight. We use gloves so the caffeine wasn't soaking into our skin. And now what we are going to do is lay out the papers out in that beautiful sunshine out there. So, uh, hang in there, you can watch the whole process. sure that we're doing everything right so our next step for those pages there is our coffee splatters so I just mixed up um, really strong coffee from instant and we are going to dip either a shot glass or this little glass rub it on here and we're going to make our imprints on our paper but we'll show you the process Look how beautiful the papers have turned out. And we got lots. We're going to do one more set of these, but I just wanted to show you really quick of how I, I like to get stuff on my lid. Maybe, Sheila, maybe you can okay. hold that. Do the video. So I just randomly make, let me get some more on my little lid. 
did. mark them all just a few but I think this batch I definitely want my little imprints and then also what I like to do is splatter but I could maybe I can just do this whole lid Daddy. it's gonna be beautiful so that is what we're gonna do next beautiful but I do have a stack that I have. I wish I'd gotten a video of Sheila's stack as well. Um, but our time just ran out on us. So we kind of guesstimated that we had done about 400 pages each and they just turned out so beautiful. Each page just is a different shade. I don't know if you can tell the difference with this video image here. Um, the very first batch um, is a little bit lighter than the second batch. I did add more tea bags and less water for the second batch. And um, they just turned out beautiful. I did have six plastic doilies that we got to use. And um, that turned out really pretty. If you can see that, just really light, just because we had a storm come through and that second batch we ended up touching we we're trying to figure out is like four different times that we laid that paper out and if you look back at those videos I hope you took note of how many lunges and squats that we did I was kind of calculating because I'm super sore well I'm better today but I was super sore last night I probably did 1200 squats and lunges <laughs> so this uh, Doing our tea dyeing paper is a true workout. After when we brought them in, I did a paper press, which I had made out of, uh, this one was made out of a dollar store um, bread cutter, made out of bamboo. And then I decided I needed a bigger one. So I um, just drilled these. I don't know if you can see what I did here. And these press our papers so nice that we will be able to run them through our printer. I wanted to show you, let's see, some of the beautiful coffee stamping that turned out. Look how fun. And the splatters. I am going to probably do this process. Um... I don't know, maybe five or six more times this summer. So Gail, girlfriend, 
come over. It'll be a true workout. Your bum and your papers are going to look so much better. <laughs> so this is what we ended up with. Like I said, I wish that we had gotten um, all the pages together. That would have been so fun, Sheila. We just were not thinking. Just like any time you get together with your girlfriends crafting, time just slips away. But we were able to play in the studio a little bit. We worked on some journals. This is a journal that I'll do a little flip through that we were going to be duplicating. And so Sheila and I started on two different journals here. And um, she will surely show you hers. I'm sure of it. So thank you for stopping by my backyard and um, watching this whole process of tea dyeing. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to ask and here's my little trusty helpers. One's a bigger helper than the other, but they kept us company and entertained through the whole time. And Have a beautiful day. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, thanks again for watching this whole process. Bye.